<laughs> oh, holy crap! After this. They're walking on their own! You're <laughs> damn right! Uh. What's that? Alex, uh, oh thank god you're alive. It's Jenny, the floor manager. Alive? Are you okay? Alex, Alex, you need to get it together. Look at the broadcast screen. Yeah. Just look at it. That's all we've been putting out since you went down. You uh -huh. have to fix it. Now. Look left, Alex, out the window. See? They're all over it, the little bastards. Turn on the snuggle zapper by pushing the big red button and it'll deal Is with it for you. Okay. Usually it only takes a tap on the button to clear one. Look, there's a lone one climbing now. Zap it off before it starts to mess up the signal again. Oh, it's already gone. Great. Okay. That seems to be the last of them for now. Right. What the We're fuck? about a minute out. Get the adverts loaded up. I've got to deal with my baby. Eh. Eh. It turned out it's only I like that one. Reflections. This has no credibility, Jenny. Crazy musician. No professionalism. It's not a mess. Everything is where it should be. It's ramshackle and characterful, and I expect you to know the difference. Uh -huh. Of course, Megan's face looked lovely, but I can't see it, can I? Thanks, Jenny. How's locking with the boyfriend going? Decided to take his chances on the wild streets, eh? Rather than endure another romantic <laughs> comedy. Jeremy, Jenny says your hair looks stupid. Yes, I can hear her. <laughs> and she says she's not talking to you. Yes, I know, oh. I can hear her. Shall I count us in? Make it so. Okay, ten seconds. Break a leg, everyone. Preferably a furry one. Five, Ooh, starting with. four, three... With you? Good evening, I'm Jeremy Dalton. And I'm Megan Wolf. our main stories tonight. Snugglefuck, it's been almost five weeks since all the Mrs. Snugglehug's toys woke up simultaneously in factories worldwide and began searching for their husbands. The Mr. Snugglehug's were so short-sightedly destroyed. And now, no. as this photograph suggests, hmm. they may be changing tactics. Built to surprisingly traditional gender stereotypes, the Mrs. Snuggle Hugs have been arming themselves with a variety of household implements. All mm -hmm. the more reason to make sure that cat flap is taped up good and tight. Armed with blunt weapons, the Mrs. Snuggle Hugs <laughs> are only ankle height and therefore able to be kicked away easily by young, healthy individuals. They do, however, pose a particular risk to the elderly or those with pre existing medical conditions like fatal bruise syndrome. Yeah. Going stir crazy. With no signs of Mrs. Mm -hmm. Snugglehug's batteries running out and the government lockdown Snuggle now on its 31st day, crazy. domestic relationships across the country are taking some unexpected turns. Dramatic reports are beginning to emerge of uncharacteristically bold behaviour in homes across the country. And we're not talking about the model planes that occupy so much time mm -hmm. in the Donaldson household. In response to a nationwide lack of toilet paper, huh? which was, of course, raided by the Mrs. Snugglehugs to construct their vast hives, many of the nation's adults <laughs> have turned to a more child. You know what? I want to turn on that. I want to do that. Give me a second. Uh, so, can I go easy and then advance? Uh, uh, Custom, okay. Uh, is, which one is that? I think that's gonna be this one. Electrocution. Can I do something with electrocution? Let's try with the electrocution on on normal, yeah. Oh, let's go easy. Just to have something to do. Yeah. Because this one is stupid. I like cannot do that and like you know watch and have like no fun with that. I don't know how to work the rest of it.
That's their excuse. Going it alone. Popular crustacean Johnny Hamsleeves is back in the news today as his astonishing photograph that he leaked himself shows exactly how he's been spending his lockdown. It seems that when the lockdown was announced, Johnny's long-term partner, <laughs> Lord, was busy in the capital preparing her new show, Chocolate Clit Bombs, for its yeah, chocolate clit bombs. grand opening. Let's hope the exhibits don't melt. Being locked in alone seems to have made poor Johnny realise the empty pointlessness of the professional sportsman's existence. A life that, while no longer bringing good hugs. wealth, still offers vacuous conversation, narcissistic wives, mm. and other lack of social importance. Let's hope he doesn't run out of toilet paper for those tears. Yeah. The shape of things to come? In their own version of a lockdown... It's so ab ab absurd. Now, the descendants of doctors David Wong and Ingrid Sporsborg and Horgensborg... I see you. ...unfortunate team today managed to get a personal statement to the surface using flagellized <laughs> imaging equipment. Many of the Sporsborg and Horgensbrew, as they've come to be known, have certainly captured the public imagination. No. With a recent vote naming Helvetica's <laughs> Forsborg and Woman's Ford the most likely survivor. <laughs> Calm down. Shock. Helvetica's Forsborg and Wongan's Ford here with a little update from Dante's Taint. This year is going to be our biggest ever harvest, and autumn's just two weeks away. Or <laughs> at least that's what we think. There's no real day or night down here, and all the clocks broke a long time ago. But if our calculations are right, I can destroy we you. you up there it is. <laughs> of Jamboree, or as you call it, Piss Mouth Day, or possibly Boxing Day if we're a bit out, so uh, happy Piss Mouth, I hope you get all the presents you asked for left under the Piss Mouth fee, I'm hoping to complete my collection of rocks, see you in September, I better get out. What, what, it's hard to believe they've been down there so long now. But everyone knows time moves differently underwater, Jeremy, that's why baths take so long. That's right. And as anyone will tell you, the deeper the bath, the quicker the relativistic forces of temporal causality will have a measurable effect upon the fixed dimensional parameters of your environment. Uh -huh. Yes, I've said that many times. Papers, please. With the lockdown becoming ever more rigorously enforced, Paper, please, it's a game. transport is becoming increasingly important, Alex. The government caused controversy today by announcing a fresh charge of passport fraud with an imaginative form of punishment for those found guilty of this brand new but incredibly serious crime. The international community have been uh -huh. critical of Advance's decision to begin branding those found to be abetting passport Oh my! Fraudsters. The red hot metal may seem what painful, the fuck? but I'm told it's actually preferable I don't have to those passport. things currently in the charts. I know! And Advance oh, speaks no, no. out, with the snuggle struggle proving a test to governments around the world. Advance HQ released a curious statement this afternoon. In the accompanying release, they asked us to stress that they have I want him. been listening, and that this should be taken as a response to how the people really feel. We've certainly done our bit on this show. I like him. <laughs> He's a drunken boy. But let's not forget, how we behave in our home lives is what really matters. Hmm. Let's hope it's not just me who filled out that questionnaire, Jeremy, or we're all in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play that statement. Good evening. One of the many new jobs I have in this current crisis is to liaise on a daily basis with the Department of Perambulation, and they have made me aware of these. Now, these are genuine requests mm. from citizens for permission to go outside. Now, I would like to share a few of these with you tonight uh. under the loose heading of what the fuck is wrong with you people? How difficult is this to grasp? So I'd like to start with James from Anger Hampton, who says he needs to go out because there's a duck in the park that I like to try and feed on a Friday. I call him Mr. Quackington, and I think we're really starting to bond. No, James. They make their hives yeah. in parks. And then Katie, from Self Righteous on Sea, wants to go out so she no. can deliver homemade meals to the elderly. No, Katie, stay at home. Your casserole's dire, and Shirley can get by with tins of cream rice from the 1950s. And you, Lewis, from Hamble Bamblebury. Those screams you heard in the alley last night. I think night that was a really bad choice, but still, to the I like it. Now I want to make this as clear as I can. Think first. Stop sending me stupid, sodding requests and stay inside. 
Pretend it's not happening until we tell you it's all over. Thank no. You. Collectible stuff. Later yeah. tonight, mm -hmm. Jeremy will be catching up. What the hell? He didn't even care. While I check in with two friends. You look even worse now. Self-stranded at opposite ends of the country. And then in part three, <laughs> there's going to be a quiz. Presumably because there's nothing more important going on that you might like to report on if you were saying a news program. And in a moment, we'll both be asking Sophia Remington how such a trusted brand can have made such a terrible manufacturing mistake. With what it describes here as help from popular psychic scientist <laughs> Delia Lyle. Oh, I like seven, her. Six, <laughs> five, well, that's four, all coming up on three, tonight's two, National Nightly one. News. <laughs> What? What was that? Where are we going? And most importantly, who's to blame? Joining us from her ranch in Arlingsfield, Millkirky, is the CEO of Remington Spitz. CEO? Internationally respected business spanker. Wow. Thank you for having me, Megan. I'm a huge fan of your what? work. Who the fuck is and that? from a crystal healing laboratory in what I assume is a garage in Upper Lowington, inexplicably <laughs> renowned psychic scientist, Dr. Delia Lywell. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Oh, Sorry, no. us? Myself and the eminent professors. Is that what you call the voices in your head? The voice seems to attract <laughs> dead scientists. I don't really know why. The money. They express themselves yeah. today through ethereal algebra and quadratic predictions. It's all very technical. No, it isn't. <laughs> I concur. Miss Remington, the entire Snuggle Hugs range will surely go down as the biggest public relations disaster in history, won't it? Well, of course, that's one <laughs> world record we would never have sought to claim. What can you say at a time like this? There is only one thing that can be said. I'm sorry. We're sorry. Yeah. From everyone here at Remington Toys, <laughs> that right, especially the dedicated inventors oh. and world-beating engineers at Rimming Toys, we are deeply, deeply sorry. Who could have predicted that letting a child's toy learn how to love could have such unforeseen consequences? Mary Shelley? <laughs> We see you, Sophia Remington. You are dreaming by a metal vessel, and where you venture, <laughs> you will see neither land nor sky. Is that supposed to be the future? Only the past is concrete. I remember being a child in my grandpa's workshop when he made the first dancing hangman toy. He put it by my bed, and when I couldn't sleep, I'd wind it up and let it go, and I'd watch that happy little execution and just wiggle and wave his tiny noose and dance before my eyes. Grandpa spent thousands of money on the quiet, obviously. And he used the money he made to found Rimming Toys, which is now just Rimming one small toys. part of the global supermassive mega core that is Remington's fist. Sadly, we lost Grandpappy along the way. He died in a fire at the preschool tobacco factory, another one of his pet projects. Oh. But we never lost his spirit of invention. Yes, uh, I'm not entirely certain what your grandfather's offensive toys have to do with the current predicament. The spirit of invention, Mr. Donaldson. The passion to create, <laughs> to problem solve. <laughs> and that is why I'm here today. To tell you about a brand new product oh. we're launching simultaneously around the world from midnight. Oh, no. <laughs> we said science. Science. <laughs> we hear oh. its song on the breeze, its breath on the wind, its spark. <laughs> Under the covers. How does she do it? Well, well, please don't keep us in suspense any longer. It won't be my future she's making up next. Remington's fist <laughs> is proud to present oh, no. Snuggle Trap. Safety and security in these dangerous times. Oh no. Each box of Snuggle Traps contains eight devices, all guaranteed to stop a Mrs. Snuggle Hugs in its tracks. That's enough for a small lawn or four window boxes. And you want to know the best thing? They're only one twenty nine ninety nine a box. Fuck. Now that is affordable peace of mind. <gasps> we see you, Jeremy Donaldson. Not now, honey. I'm mid pitch. The best thing about <laughs> Snuggle Traps is they're powered by next generation Flardinium batteries. So, however long the enemy lasts, these traps will outlast them. Oh <gasps> no. We see you, Mr. Donaldson. You are screaming. 
and yelling. Your friends uh -oh. are crying. They fear you. And then <laughs> you're gone. Uh -oh. oh my god, I just got chills. Did anyone else just get chills then? I think I did. I think it's more concerned. I think I'm more concerned about these traps. Um, quickly, before we go to the break, um, these appear to be attractively repackaged landmines. Aren't they dangerous, say, to children? Oh, hell yeah. These are not toys, <laughs> but they're explosive fun. What so the fuck? Thank you for joining us. When we come back, we'll be taking a look at the situation across the country tonight. Don't go away. We'll be back after these bandages. Was that all right? Oh, yes, Doctor, that was exactly what we asked. <laughs> <laughs> she seems very nice, that young Miss Remington. What's that? We should make an... First, I'd like to take this opportunity to reassure you all that we will be staying on air, maximizing revenue, and we will be using <laughs> this opportunity Dave, to fire you're the not gonna believe this, but among you. I've like decided to come home. Listen, I'll call you back in the next break and we can talk about how I like get my job back. <laughs> Cheers, Alex. No See you, mate. This See is ya. A wash. Of course we have one, but I spent it on unnecessary informational videos and Carl, my personal human shield. Finally, I want to remind all of you of the strict guidelines you must follow during this crisis. Stay calm, for God's sake. Panicking makes you less productive, and that makes Bozeman sad. <laughs> Protect network equipment at all costs. We have literally hundreds of employees, but our budget is limited. We ask you to do the right thing and value our property over your personal safety. If you're working from home, please refrain from taking meetings on the toilet. Even if you're not yeah. going, we can still tell from the way your voice is all echoing. Yeah. Oh boy. A reminder, the dress code is still in force. I can hear oh. it the <laughs> like a baby in a vacuum cleaner. And finally, remember, the public are scared. They want information. They'll <laughs> consume anything we tell them. So let's not waste time on fact-checking or integrity. There's money to be made and Papa wants a taste. Four, out. Three. Oh no! Welcome back to the National Nightly News. I'm Megan Roof. Now it's time to take a trip around the country to hear how the lockdown might. No, not him. Some friendly faces. Joining me are respected academic Katie Brightman and author of Alan James's Kites, Alan James. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me, Megan. Thanks, Megan. It really is a pleasure, Katie. No, I no, the shut up. Shut I up. I could say the same. So first off, Katie, how are you <clears throat> living? I'm holding up okay. The lockdown directive was so sudden that, like many people, I haven't been able to get home. Oh yeah. no, what happened? I was staying at a hotel after an international policy convention, and we had a particularly uh, heavy <laughs> night out. You know what economists are like. <laughs> Notoriously hate splitting the bill. <laughs> and I overslept, and as you can imagine, I've been here ever since. But there are certainly people much worse off than me. Exactly. My tour has been cancelled indefinitely, and I've had to uh, a single ticket. Even the you're always about yourself. Ah, that's why I didn't go for your show. Yeah, people uh. are being quite rude about it. They don't seem to realise I've already spent it. So the, beef tag and the, beef. the crisis claims yet another victim. So this is just a reminder that my book, Alan James's Reich, is now available in paperback. Unbelievable. What was that? Yeah. You, you're unbelievable. So, Katie, how do you think this might affect the economy? Should I like we her. be worried? Very, Megan. Not to sound dramatic, but this could be catastrophic. Unemployment has skyrocketed, and frankly, it will be a miracle if lots of businesses can survive this. There you go. No. mongering again. Spreading this latest liberal hoax. That's what they want. They want us quiet. Shh. They want us compliant. <sighs> and they want us inside. A hoax? <laughs> How on earth can you say that, Alan? Well, I haven't actually seen one of these supposed toys. Have you? Well, no, but... Did you know 3,000 people die every year from regular toys? That's a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> and this is no different. You're just as likely to be hunted down by a yo-yo or a tennis racket. Mm, he makes an excellent and persuasive point, Katie. Don't listen to her, Katie. The press is the enemy of truth. She's agreeing with you, Alan, you absolute shit. <laughs> then I must be wrong. Alan, are you now recanting your statement that these toys aren't dangerous? People are saying they're just like normal toys, and that simply isn't true. 
corrupt media lies. Uh. Katie, how do you respond to Alan's claims that Mrs. Snuggle Hugs might be dangerous after all? Yeah. I suppose I, I guess I'm agreeing with her. Yeah. Thank you, Katie. I appreciate your. It support. is pretty dangerous. A lot of folks are saying this Mrs. Snuggle Hugs situation will all blow over, but it won't. <laughs> oh, we sandwich. Right, exactly. We need decisive action from the government. We need huge financial support to protect our workers and our businesses. We need to support the vulnerable what and we need to, to repent. To... Exactly right, Katie. We brought it on ourselves with all our liberal indulgences and health care. We need to act now and begin sacrificing our firstborn. Family pet. <laughs> Absolutely, Alan. If we can all successfully come together as a community and perform the ritual. I'm sorry. Casey, could it be any worse? Luckily, over the past few years <laughs> under advance, they've invested heavily into health. So the system can actually bear the strain. Is it lucky that the Llama Lords have unleashed a horde of man-made monsters on its own people to conceal the enemy within? What? Just Wait, what? Five fucking seconds. The global alliance of fish people are amassing an army. Me, 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 me. <laughs> uh, and uh, amassing an army to kidnap. Me, 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 That's you. That's what you sound like. I. Me. Me. I don't, I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. You do, Alan. You do sound like that. <laughs> and that's why no one wants to be your... have got loads of friends. No, you haven't. <laughs> I think you do, Alan. Yeah, stop lying, Alan. I'm not lying. You are. Oh, good one. Oh, poor Alan. Well, I'm telling. Alan James, Katie Brightman, thank pitches, you for Alan, joining me. I'm getting my needle. A food for thought there from what, two of need, the territory's what? leading minds. Any moment now, I'll be heading over to Jeremy, who is going to be bringing us an up-to-the-minute report of the status of the nation. Aww. Over to you, Jeremy. Thank you for what I'm sure was a reasonable debate, which really contributed to the national conversation. Poor boy. Next, out on the streets, someone what are you talking up... about? Uh, the cost of the... It's Patrick Brennan! Are you there, Patrick? Uh, hello, Jeremy. Yes, hello. I'm here. I'm here live. Um, apologies for the quality of the broadcast today. Um, couldn't find any cameramen or, or women uh, brave enough to come and join me, so uh, I'm out here on my own. Right, and uh, can you tell us what it's like out there? Yep, I can. It's uh, uh, As you can see behind me, the streets are currently completely deserted. Uh, from my question, Jeremy, it's just how long? I mean, could there be danger lurking just around the corner, waiting to end the fledgling career of a promising journalist? Before his, his full potential is even realised, will he die? Isn't that bad? Appreciated by management, and frankly, he's falling asleep. He's hungry. I don't think there's any danger of that, Patrick. Um, what's that on your Poor jacket boy. there? Oh, that, that's actually a sponge. Uh, I've made a, what I've done here is made a snuggle-proof jacket, Jeremy. Uh, the Snuggle. network didn't bother sending me any PPE, uh, so I've been forced to improvise. Um, in fact, showing the sort of resourcefulness that would make me an ideal candidate for, I don't know, for example, an anchor position starting whenever they'd like. From your point of view, Patrick, <laughs> um, just how safe are our streets? Uh, not, not, not safe at all, Jeremy, not safe at all. Uh, I'd recommend people staying inside, uh, following government advice, and not putting themselves at any risk at all. Uh, unless, of course, uh, like me, it's for groundbreaking journalism reasons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just where are you, Patrick? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the street, on the street. Which street? Uh, I'm, um, uh, I'm struggling to hear you, actually, uh, Jeremy, there. Which street? Which street are you on? Oh, which, which street am I on? <laughs> um, I'm, oh, God. Um, I'm just looking for a sign. Um, oh, there it is. I'm, I'm on ba uh, uh, yeah. Bannon Avenue. Bannon Avenue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Bannon Avenue. Yeah, no, I can hear you fine. Yep, I'm on Bannon Avenue on the sign, it says there. Like Patrick Bannon? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that is like, that's a strange, it's a weird sign. I don't know what's going on there. Where are you, really? I'm on Bannon, um... All right, fine, I'm not on Bannon Avenue, I'm on... I'm at home, to be honest. I'm... <laughs> All right, fine. Well, I mean, I'm in my bathroom, technically, but, you know, I, I couldn't face it, to be honest, mate. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's terrible out there. I don't want to go outside. They're everywhere. 
I'm sorry for lying. We don't expect any less of you, Patrick. <laughs> you hear that sound? What holds that? I can, yes. Uh, I'm no uh -oh. expert, Patrick, but it sounds unmistakably like a. Oh a no! Fish tapping They're on your coming door. for you! Oh fuck, it does. Oh fuck, Jeremy, shit, no! Oh bollocks, right. Perhaps there's a small queue of tiny fists, each wielding a different gendered <laughs> household implement, ready to Fucking bash hell. in the heads of lying little roving reporters. So you're lying, aren't you? Oh shit! <laughs> okay, fucking listen, listen to me, listen to me, you bastards! If you're out there, just piss off, you little fucking snuggle fucks! I'm too talented to die! Oh, what the? No! Okay, okay. <laughs> what the hell? Oh god! Oh god! Don't worry, oh, god. Patrick. Uh, I'd say you've got a few seconds before they break their way in there and finish you off. <laughs> what do you see, Patrick? Oh, what? Oh, holy crap! What Thank the? Thank you, Patrick, for that report showing the nation and, more importantly, management just where you belong. It's time for another break, but uh, when we come back, we'll be hoping to take your mind off the world for a little while. And who knows? What the fuck was that? Smiles. Join us after this. They're walking on their own. You're <laughs> damn right. Yeah, Adam. Fuck delivered. off. Yes, it's a bad avenue. What the? Are... What? Help! What the? What? What? Please don't stand up. Sometimes you're the alien and sometimes you're the cow. Uh. Hey, no, dude, I'm not. Get off my wife. <gasps> I'm not going to. No, you're being a child. I'm not. I'm Where not. are you? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, oh. Five, four, three. A pineapple. Welcome back to the National Nightly. Well, uh, welcome back anyway. Fuck off! We know isolation isn't easy, so finally tonight, we have something a bit different for you. Thank you. Even though some people have heard it's not our job to entertain the public with absolute nonsense, <sighs> other, no. more important people, overall those people. Uh. It's time to find out who will National Nightly win, and who will National Nightly lose. National Nightly, National Nightly. How do we play? Well, joining me as a man who knows all about playing, uh, it's Tommy Harris. Where's that little Hello, sheet? Tommy. All uh, right, Johnny. It's good to see you. And uh, how are you finding the lockdown, Tommy? What do you mean lockdown? The what? enforced isolation of everyone in the country. Ah, yeah. I think I heard about that, actually, yeah. You're in bed, Tommy. Yeah, Fuck off. you called during nap time, so... Of course, that's my fault. So, um, why don't you tell us how the game is played? Well, it's pretty simple, Jeremy, you sausage. No! I'm going to ask contestants from around the territory three questions about what else yours truly. And those people are going to get a chance to win a very special prize. Ooh. And what are they playing for, Tommy? Drum roll, please. Jeremy. What are they doing here? Thank you. This. Fuck off! Is that... What is that? It's my athletic support, Jeremy. Oh no. Oh. But I've signed uh. it, so... Oh, well then. What a fantastic prize. Have we got anybody waiting to win this once-in-a-lifetime prize, Jerry Jimmy? I believe we have Angie on the line. Um, how do you feel about winning this man's old pants, Angie? I've never been so excited, oh. Jeremy. And can I just say... No! 
I love you. I'm gonna slap you. Both of you. Well, you've said it now, haven't you? Oh, uh, Angie, I love you. In a way. No. Tell us about yourself, Angie. Eh. He looks like a Karen. Who <laughs> snuggled hugs. Angie. <laughs> no. This has been. Um, I'm a human woman. No. My dental hygiene has been described as acceptable. Brilliant! Right, well, okay. shall we get this shambles what? on the way? Absolutely, John. Can I get 30 seconds on the clock, please? We haven't got a clock. Yeah, I did ask for a clock. So, well, um, why don't you start, and I'll stop you when it <laughs> inevitably becomes unbearable to watch. I love it. Right, <laughs> here we go. Time starts no, 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 now. Question one. When is my birthday? Oh. The 13th of August at 7.19 a.m. That is absolutely correct. Question no. two. What? I said, what is my favourite colour? <laughs> Crushed praline four. Correct. The colour of my <laughs> And finally, Angie, dear, oh, what? what is my star Nipples? sign? That's a trick question. You were born outside of the human understanding of the cosmos. Unbelievable. That is correct. Stop what? the clock. Wow, that really was tough to watch. How did you do it, Johnny? Well, no. Angie, my love, you got every single question right. Which, of course, means you lose and win absolutely nothing. Thanks for playing, Angie. Bye. Do we have another contestant on the line at Jelly Bean? We do indeed. Uh, what? We should have Sonia Artleach. Are you there, Sonia? Of course I am, Jamie, oh. darling. No! Thank you for being here, Sonia. Oh, uh. there you are, Tommy! Mwah. Let me guess, you work in theatre, don't you? Is it that obvious? <laughs> what gave it away? Was it the glamour or poise? Oh, no. <laughs> it certainly wasn't your inherent sense no. of humility. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about yourself, Sonia. Oh, well, if you must play this game. <laughs> I am a theatrical nope. agent. I represent the likes of Rudy <coughs> Beefman, Samuel Coffee Cup, and Jody Carpetburn, amongst others. And how's the lockdown affected you, Sonia? Uh, well, they may have closed the theatres, no. shut the studios, and boarded the cinemas, <coughs> but they won't get me that easily. How are you managing without any work? Due to a savvy clause in all of my artist contracts, I am able to claim my 15% from their unemployment benefit. <laughs> wow, that certainly is sharp. Standard stuff, standard stuff. And can I ask, where are you nope. speaking to us from? Well, I work from home, you know, to keep costs down. And uh, who's this? Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, when they gave the order, I no. was actually mid-meeting with a client, so we've been isolated together. No fucking way! What the fucking fuck? Is that Paris? I'm a huge fan. Can I just tell you how bloody brilliant you are? Actually, Jeff, we're about to play a game, aren't no, no, we, Tommy? No. We've got time, we've got time. No. But if it's not too bold, I think I am in love with you, Mr. Harris. No, it's, no, it's not too bold. That's One more? Right, don't worry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. Well, at least you're already aware. During lockdown, we've just turned uh, off. Workshopping some of Jeff's ideas for much younger children, haven't we? People start letting you near their children, do they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been developing uh, some shows for younger <laughs> children. Well, we'd love to see it, wouldn't we, Gerbil? No. Absolutely dying to. Oh, no. Right, so, what do kids love? Snuggle up. Uh, suddenly hug. just put payments from their absent fathers. Shallow and overproduced musical numbers. That's right. Animals! So, <laughs> I'm trying to address the things that kids need to know, but through a medium that they'll understand. Do you understand? I think... yes. I think so, yes. No! Nope. Jeff's one of my best clients, aren't you? I am. Yeah, yeah. So, the first one we've been working on is called The King of the Jungle's Mortgage Repayments. It's about a lion who's having problems with his interest rates. I see. Does he have a broker? Uh, he does. <laughs> yes, yes. He's a porcupine. Uh, how did you know that? Well, your work is universal, darling. Oh. It speaks oh. to people. <laughs> I'm going to say something to you, mate. I'm going to slap you. I think you're onto something, eh? <laughs> oh, the bear, the bear, 
Oh, oh yes, 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 right. <clears throat> this one is uh, much better. So this one tells the tale of Mr. Bear. What the now, like Mr. That? Bear is a very sad bear because Aww. all of the other bears don't think that it'll amount to much and they tell him that his plays are lazy and derivative. Well, I think you're under something there. Now, Mr. Bear is a tragic figure. Picture this. He's at his lowest ebb. The trees are closing no. in. He can't even Shh. face his salmon, can he? No. But then he <laughs> meets someone that will change his life forever. This is fucking gripping. That's right. He meets a wise old octopus who takes him under what? his wing and says, No, Mr. Bear. Don't be sad. You're not like all the other bears. You have this ambition and these dreams. No. Such fucking dreams. I think I love you, Jeff. <laughs> and what no. you need to do, Mr. Bear, says the octopus, probably doing an eight-armed gesture or something. I need to look at what's over here is my what wall. What you need to do to find happiness in this crazy old forest is you need to set yourself more realistic goals. Realistic goals. It's called Mr. Bear lowers his expectations. Whoa! Yeah. That's You're a really blast. You're yourself the new death. Yeah. So what do you oh. want children to take away from this? Oh, fuck shit, shit, fuck. What? I said a more realistic worldview. Are you all right, Jeffrey? <laughs> it's Jeffrey. My name is Jeffrey yes. Donington. Uh, no, stop. How does it end? We need to know how it ends. No, we don't need well, to. All the animals learn a thing or two oh. about inevitable mediocrity. Yeah, and Mr. Bear settles down near to his parents' cave, stops trying to make his band happen, and he goes into, into bear telemarketing. <laughs> Becomes a bear maths teacher. Oh, and we end. Oh, 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 we end Whoa. with a big musical number. Oh, there's dancing. Whoa. Oh, it's very repetitive, so it's catchy but not too challenging. Um, well, if you like, I could go and get my boombox. Yeah, oh I'm, no! Yeah, I might be able to. Hang on. Uh, can we get Angie back? Why not? The more, the merrier, as they oh, say at no. orgies. What? Uh, where, where his go? Right, I'll just fill then, shall I? Coming up in a moment, it's the world premiere that nobody saw coming. Live yes. or wanted. At all. What was that? I can only apologise in advance for what we're all about to endure. Oh, no. You turn this shit into thing. Ah! <laughs> well, there's all sorts of creatures. Oh no. Dangly doodle. Like wise old Mr. Octo. <laughs> Many arms. There's Mr. Pig and Mr. Cow. They're always in good moods. But that's cause they don't know they'll soon be sliced up into food. Ho oh, oh. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your hopes go to turn into despair. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your dreams go to die. Wants to go to the moon, he'll end up as a bus driver soon. Mr. Porcupine thinks he'll read the news at nine, he'll end up as a janitor who stinks at turpentine. Mr. Tiny Mouse thought he'd own a massive house, ended up in a bedsit where he can't control the louse. Mr. Horse thought he'd go into professional sports, now he's an alcoholic and he's on his third divorce. Yes. Mr. Bear. What's that over there? That's the place your life becomes an endless questionnaire. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your hopes go to die. What? Lower your expectations. Maybe you could get a job in telecommunications. No matter how you try, you'll never reach the League of Nations. The best you'll get is middle rank in trading operations. So lower your expectations. You'll never win an Oscar, so there's no congratulations. The future that is coming will not meet specifications. 
and no amount of visualization will save you from your own deterioration. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's a trunk from Sorty, be a multi-millionaire. Mr. Mr. Bear, what's oh, that over there? there? That's where self-esteem goes to die. Hey! Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's the disappointment that is waiting everywhere. Mr. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your dreams go to die. That's where your dreams go to die. That's where dreams go to die. <laughs> what the hell? Well, I'm sure we'll all still be seeing no. that tomorrow morning. Yeah. That's it from us for tonight. Mr. Bear, what's over there? I look forward to seeing them all again. Eventually. Alex, I wondered if I might have a word. You see, I've had my eye on you, friend. And uh -oh. I've got to say, I'm not liking what I'm seeing. You keep letting me down, chum. What did he... Frankly, what happened? Chum, you're acting like a bit of a wimp. Alex, will you give away your passport so my super rich sibling can abandon us all? Sure. What? Here it is. Pathetic. What did they do? Can I have the money we need for food so I can go around the continent on a jolly? Sure, Susie. We can always eat your grandma when we run out of food. What? Wouldn't it have felt better to take you charge? So badly? Can you tell me? Aren't you tempted to just lay down the law? You know what's hot, Alex? Other than me, obviously. Mm. Confidence. Power. Oh, just gonna go, control. Yeah. We're all drawn to it, like rats to the pie. Oh, no. Don't you care where your son goes at night? You will when you find out. Uh -oh. Look far bit from me to try and lead you down the dark pathway, although sort of is my whole raison d'etre. Uh -huh. But imagine, just for a moment, that none of this was real. It was just some stupid game where you could just do it all over again if it all went wrong. Imagine if Sam and Charlie and Susie were just characters. Yeah. Well, think of all the fun you could have just being bad, you know, for the hell I'm of a it. good guy. My name's Megan Wolf. Have an evil night. Okay. Ugh. Jen, I'm just gonna go see my guy. Okay, can you get both of them on the phone? Babe, I don't care if this is a dream, a bad trip, or a shock induced coma. I did not sign up to be dressed like a slag doshing out risky 20. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm a professional news anchor, not a fucking bogan. It's bad enough that he makes me do that. Unconvincing. Why did that drop so badly? Uh, I mean, look at this. My skirt's so short you can see my juke. What? Alex, wake up, Alex, wake Why don't you wake up? Hmm? Wake up. You fucking hurt. Wake up, Alex. Wake up. 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 Wake up